Hey everyone, Total Power 2 here. In today's video, I will be doing a review on the Donatello from Team and Team Mutant Mayhem. Now, uh, I do have two figures, this one and this one. This is the one I will, I will be reviewing, but first, uh, the reason I brought this guy is because this is what Donnie looks like with his glasses, with his pouch. You can see his phone sticking out. This is the more scuffed up version. Uh, this is the one that is included with the Bebop and Donatello 2-pack. Um, this is what he looks like around. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get this out. I actually thought it was super glued in or glued in, but it's not. You just take it out, uh, then the glasses, uh, pop off like that, like nothing. Uh, anyway, so, uh, here's the figure itself. Uh, it obviously comes with the baby turtle, the weapon rack, not that different from the other ones. Here's a look at his bow staff. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's like a rectangle shape in the center for him to hold. He can only hold it in the center. I wish it was like this thick like it is in the middle. Uh, all the way to the top to the end of it. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And I wish they would have done it that way. All you do is uh, you slide his bow staff in like that. Um, I think all of them look better without the strap. That's just the way I see it. You can see the classic D on his uh bell emblem uh i feel like these ones are really really based on or they took a lot of inspiration from the 80s toys uh with the first letter of their names on the in the front of their belt and then with the weapons being like this uh orange brown color and I feel like this is what Donnie should have looked up, looked like in the movie to begin with, uh, without glasses. This is what he looks like without his button glasses. He looks so much, so much better. Uh, first, I'm going to focus on the articulation now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. The feet can move around these 360, so can the wrist, and same thing for the head. I really like the way the head feels when you turn it around and then when it, the head goes up and down like so. Now I'm going to focus on the way that the figure looks. So here's a front view, side view, back view. Uh, a huge complaint I will always have about these Moon Mayhem Turtles is that they need to quit using such cheap plastic for the shells. I feel like it just feels very, very cheap. And I feel like the height on them is something I really don't like either. Like, they should be the same size as the 07 Turtles. Uh, those ones are really bulky and heavy and tall. Uh, here's a front view, top view, and then bottom view. So, yeah. Uh, also wish these guys had more posability. They were able to bend their um, arms more arms a little bit more and then same thing for the legs uh because i feel like these guys also lack in posability and then i'm gonna put his weapon in his hand let me see all right so there we go um i also really like the way that the face looks uh you have an angry face on this side than the other one you have a smiling face, and then it has this really cool effect. But yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.